New at five, the governor has appointed two veteran lawmakers to his cabinet. Now he'll need to replace them in the legislature. As our Rick Desog reports, that'll increase the already large class of incoming representatives. Outgoing state representatives James Tokioka and Ryan Yamane were senior members of the House, serving 33 years combined. But their departure will mean that more than a third of the House's membership will be newcomers, the biggest turnover since 2001. What you lose when you lose those really experienced members is that kind of knowledge about how to manage the legislation, um, even, you know, the, the kind of institutional knowledge that you know, if they've tried to pass a bill like this before, what didn't work. But, you know, at the same time, I think it offers opportunities for younger members of the House to learn those skills. Um, you know, we know that certainly the public has, um, you know, is interested in things like term limit. As the Department of Transportation's deputy director and head of the airports division, Tokioka will oversee the state's multi-billion dollar airport modernization plan. It's an amazing operation. It is a city within a city. And I'm really, really excited to work with the the people at uh, Daniel Kainoi Airport, Lehui Airport, Kahului, uh, Hilo, Kona, and, and the rest of the airports throughout the state. Meanwhile, Yamane will be deputy director at the Department of Human Resources Development. He'll oversee improvements needed in the state's hiring process. Yamane says he hopes the person Governor Josh Green selects to replace him in the House is a consensus builder. I, I would love to see somebody that's committed to the community, that has the you know, the dedication uh, to listen to all the constituents uh, and work hard with both the House and the Senate, as well as administration. Governor Green has 60 days to appoint Tokioka's and Yamane's successor. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.